I'm in this stage of life where my wife and I don't have kids yet, but so many of my friends do. So many of the people that I grew up with, I went to school with, they're going on baby number two, some of them even baby number three, and it's been an awesome experience. It's been really cool to see my friends kind of grow up and raise kids and see their babies um, start to develop and they're all still really young but one of the best things about you know the modern age is even though i may not live with them i get to see all their babies on instagram i get to see how they're doing and it's really cute it really is and like one of the things with babies that's awesome is they're just they're so dependent you get to see them like kind of just everything they need their parents provide for them and it's really cute but what happens in life when you start growing up and we know like 20 year olds that still act like babies or maybe 30 year olds that still act like infants sometimes even people that are 40 50 plus they still act like infants in the sense of they never get out of this dependency they never truly grow up and become mature my fear for us is as i was reading the good life journal paul talks about this phenomenon spiritually he talks about people that um, might be Christian, but they're still living spiritually as infants and haven't truly grown up. And he says this in 1 Corinthians 3, he talks about this. He says, as infants in Christ, I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For, for while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? He's writing to people about division in the church. He starts off, he says, But I could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk and not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And my fear for you and I is that we recognize it in our physical lives when people are still acting like children, even though they're grown up. But spiritually, is it possible that many of us are still living like infants when we've been Christians for a long time? So I've got three kind of challenges for us to step in and stop being infants, but continue to fully mature. Those three challenges are prayer, the scripture, and community. Prayer, scripture, and community. I want to start with prayer, and I really hope this is a challenge to you. If you're listening to this, it's possible that you might be somebody that's really deep and already bought in in our church family, but if not, man, I just want to encourage you. I've had many conversations with people in our church where they say something to the effect of, ah, I'm just not comfortable praying out loud, or I'm just not comfortable really praying. I just want to call that out and say, I think that is a lie from the enemy. I really do. Like, if you're a believer, if you've put your faith in Jesus, if you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you know how to pray. You seriously do. Jesus said all you have to do is sincerely in your heart talk to God. That's it. I would love for our church family, it would seriously, it would give me so much joy if the next time, if this Sunday when Kel finishes his message and we have a response song, that part of that response would be people in our community praying over one another seeking out somebody that you're discipling or seeking out somebody you're in a relationship with and going and praying together with them. I think that would revolutionize your faith. That would take you away from this infancy and step into being a mature believer. And see, I think this prayer component, it connects to community. Remember, it's prayer, community, and scripture. When we're in community, we're praying for one another we see this need to be together, to pray for others and also have them pray for us. So I would encourage you to get out of infancy. We can't live life alone. We need to have other people around us in small group. We need to have other believers in our life that can push us forward, not just on Sunday mornings at a church gathering, but throughout our life. And the last would be in the scripture. Don't neglect the scripture and the power of it in your life. If you don't know where to begin, you can always join us in the Good Life Journal. We're reading through the Bible. You can join us in the New Testament, or you can read the Old Testament and New Testament portions. But let's be a people who aren't content just to remain spiritual infants, but instead we're going to say we are a people of prayer, we're a people of community, and we're a people of the scriptures. And I believe if we do that, if you could do that in your life, you would be stepping forward into your faith as you're following Jesus. So we got a great opportunity to practice that this Sunday, 9.30 and 11 in person, as well as online at 11. Until then, church family, let's stop acting like children. That sounds a little harsh, doesn't it? But you know what I'm saying. And instead, let's walk in what Jesus has for you, for me, and for our church family. Love you guys.